this is Princess Street Day. Oh, this is my, this is my, this is my day. I'm ready to take it on, come what may. Police outpost in the cemetery that is the Live Frontier Cemetery. It's Princess Street on a Wednesday morning at about 7:15, 7 20. A lot of construction, the sand outside the road shows it. I love these houses to be rebuilt and furbished and over. And that's the cemetery in the distance. Right there. One of the important routes out of South Grandveld Rock Gardens and East Grandveld and Meadowbrook. So you can take this road all the way into the city from the east end. That's why it's still kind of busy. Cemetery. I guess cemetery management is here. I don't think anybody lives here in the cemetery. And it's a point when this cut through the cemetery is considered dangerous, such as meant to be. Cemetery robbers and they wait for people to pass through, people coming through here and, and rob them. But it's still early in the day, and the cemetery is now being extended to the west end. Alright, so the cemetery is filling up and they're extending it to the west end. That's the east end, there are cows grazing in the cemetery. Yeah, yeah, we'll run up. That's the east end. A lot of these, this part of the cemetery is pretty old. There's a little chapel. And there is a crematorium. A, a place in the cemetery where not only are records kept, but remains are cremated and this is what the tropical cemetery looks like over time it becomes overgrown Merriman's funeral home just arrived so these are the graves they're typically tombs people are buried in tombs above the ground here because the water table is low they're still some people who choose to be buried six feet under. Most of these tombs are built of 
concrete and built above the ground. This is also part of the cemetery and you can see tropical vegetation has caused a lot of these tombs to be hidden. That's actually a tomb. It's probably 50 or 60 or 70 years old. Morning. Right, so that's Broad Street, I believe. We're gonna take that exit out. Here are more tombs in the cemetery. These are, in fact, some of the older, older tombs. All right, so they're also overgrown. In fact, that one is open, broken. There was a time, I think. In the 90s or the 80s, there's a time in the 80s or the 90s when grave robbers would come in here and break open the tombs and try to steal gold jewelry. There's a rash of those robberies desecrating graves. Back in the 80s and 90s, I don't know if. Yeah, this is one of the older parts of the cemetery. Another access road deep into the cemetery. Kid playing with his dad. So this is what Larry Pintier Cemetery looks like. Like I said, the water table is pretty high, so people aren't really buried in the ground because if you dig six feet into the ground here that hole will fill up with water immediately so now the grave is open so the problem with these concrete tombs is that over time they become eroded overtaken by vegetation and then they break open cemetery. That's the gate. Of course this gate is not going to keep people out. There is a smell here of rotting carcass. I don't know if that is morning. I don't know if that is uh, part of the... So guys that's what's happening here. That's cemetery. The Larry Pentier Cemetery. Georgetown morning Guyana Here we are on the other side of what we're looking at now is the tenant 